Hey, welcome to the channel. So this is just going to be a quick vid showing um, how some of the new logic works. Some of it's pretty obvious, but some of it's uh, not quite so intuitive. So I'm just going to give a quick overview of it. So uh, first, let's start off with the really obvious stuff. So this is a one-way uh, one-way logic gate, which means it's only going to take information and send it that way. So, pretty obvious. Just make sure you want your information to go in the direction of the arrow. Like in this case, for this thing, which I actually uh, re-did uh, since my last video, you would want the arrow pointing that way. That way, the way I'm looking. Because uh, it's reading from this and it's going to that. But it's not needed in this situation because uh, it doesn't really matter if, logic, if um, data goes both ways because this thing can't send data both ways. Here's the second thing, the inverter. Um, so if you saw my last episode, you'll know that I used the equals logic gate to make this work before, because I didn't notice that this little inverter thing was here. So all this inverter does is it takes any signal above zero and makes it zero, and any, z any signal that's zero, it turns to one. And with that, see, this is gonna need a repair soon. Let me actually get my uh, magnifying glass so I can show you exactly what's going on here. And go up here, and uh, there we go. So, these things start to spark before they stop working, as you can tell. So this one's at 20, and just went down to 19. See on the handle of the, the magnifying glass there? So this one's reading 19. When it reads zero, when this re this is this is a, this thing is a magnifying glass too. It's just a logic one. It's just like this. It reads the number, and then it sends its number through here. And then when it gets to, when it gets to that, like I said, anything above a zero becomes a zero. Anything, any, if it, if uh, it reads a zero, then it becomes a one. As soon as this gets anything above zero, it shoots a spanner at that and repairs it. So it'll repair it on its uh, own automatically as soon as it hits zero. And uh, I'm not going to wait here and show you because. Uh, while we're working, or while I'm showing you the rest of the stuff, it'll hit zero and it'll repair. So in a minute, I'll show you how it's not sparking. But um, but yeah, it's not. It's nothing to. This little thing extends and you, and that's about it. No big deal. Oh, and to fill this thing up, you just take these and you walk up to it so that it's clipped inside, and then you press E to drop it. And it doesn't need any right now, so it's not taking anymore. But that's how you get them in there. You just, boop. See. Yeah, it, it's it's full right now though, so it's not taking any. <laughs> All right, next one. Here's the timer. This one's another obvious one. It does exactly what it says. It takes any signal going into it, delays it one second, and then sends it out the other side. So um, yeah, if I put a one here, enter. If I could see, see, it just sent out a one. It took one second and sent out the, the signal. So watch. Two. Enter one one thousand there. See that's all it does. All right, now let's get to a little bit more of the complicated stuff. Let's start with the uh, well. Let's start with the easiest one here, the addition one. So it'll take any signal from A and any signal from B, add them together, and put them out this end here where the plus is. So say I put a five here, and see it's already a five because five plus zero is five, and then I'll put a seventy here. And now it says 75. See? Simple as that. Clear it. Zero. Back to five. Clear it. Zero. And it's all zero. See? So it just adds anything together. This one's the opposite of that. It subtracts. So it subtracts B from A. So if you have a higher number on A, say 50, 50 minus zero is 50, but 50 minus 25 is 25. 50 minus 50 is 0, obviously. But if you go the other way around, so 50 minus 50 is 0, but 10 minus 50 is negative 40. So you want, you always want um, the bigger number, if you want to keep your, your results positive, you want the bigger number on the A side, basically. Simple as that. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a negative number. See? Okay. Now let's do the equals one, which you, if you watched my video yesterday, you probably know how it works. So 
if the numbers are not equal, it puts out a zero. See, if a, okay, we got a one there and a five there, so it puts out a zero, right? But if you have a five there and a five there, it puts out a one. And that's all there is to it. Um, this one's a little glitchy though, so it, for some reason it only sets once and then, so now if I put 55, see it doesn't go back to zero for some reason. It works when it's in the system, but for some reason the reader isn't working right on this one. Um, but yeah, when I had it over here in my repair system, it worked just fine. Um, it would reset to zero and one, back and forth from zero to one, but for some reason when I got the keypads on here, there's nothing, no way I can get it back to reset to, to zero. I mean, okay, so there's no input coming in now, but okay, a one and a zero should be a zero there, but for some reason it's not coming out on the display. But like I said, it does work when you're actually like using it in a system, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, the other one that we have over here, so now we got plus, minus, equals, and now we've got the greater than. So that this one, as long as the A input is greater than or equal to the B input, it'll put out a one. If it's not greater than or equal to, it'll put out a zero. See, for example, right now I have 45 on the A input and 70 on the B input. So B is greater than A, so it puts out a zero. But if I change this to, say, 100, now A is greater than B and it puts out a one. But you could also do equals to, and it'll put out a one. So it, A is greater than or equal to B, it'll put out a one. Basic, basic math, right? Nothing too complicated. So uh, other than that, all we got is a few little fun things, like uh, this is a little inline light that lets you know that the power's on. And then if you want a brighter light, you can do these here. See, this is in inline power and it's got the, um, the light. And then if you hook up a keypad to it, you can actually change the color. If I can get up here. Okay. All right, well, I might not be able to get up there right now. But if you can cha change the keypad to, uh, to a color, if you know HTML codes, um, you use codes for the colors on your HTML pages. It uses the same, the same, um, uh, numbers. You can look it up online. Just look for HTML code uh, colors, and then you can change that light. That's obviously not hooked up correctly. But when you use a, a number pad on that logic output, you can actually change the color of the light to whatever you want. Um, here, let me actually let me actually do it real quick so that we can you can see what I mean here. So get this there. Gonna put this back there for now, and okay. So I don't remember any of the numbers. I think it's eight digits. One, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So zero is black. See how it turned to black. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's your yellowish green. And like I said, you can look all these codes up for whatever specific color you want. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, pretty much any code will make a different color. So you really need to look them up and find out what's what. Um, I think. Yeah, I can't remember what red is. Six, seven, eight, eight. That was mostly white. Eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, see, I, unless you know the codes, they're all gonna, you're just gonna be, yeah, it's, it's eight digits. You don't wanna just randomly try it. You'll be here for a year and you'll never get the right color. But you get the idea. It changes the color to whatever you want. So, um, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, nice greenish color. Anyway, you get the idea. So the last thing that we have here to play with 
is my, our logic bomb. And I have no idea what this will do. Um, I really don't. I don't know if it'll destroy any of my equipment. I don't know how much if it'll destroy any of my dirt. So let's just bring it up top to be safe here. And we'll try this out. Um, let's go all the way over here. And we'll put it right at the edge here. And I'll go get a key card real quick. Or keypad real quick. I, actually, I don't even know how you set this thing off. Um, I'm assuming you just put any input to it and it'll set it off. But I have no clue. So I'm learning this with you. So let's learn how to use a logic bomb in this game. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay. All right, then. That was not what I expected at all. <laughs> For a second, I thought I figured out how to die in this game. <laughs> okay, well, that was that was different. Um, hmm. Well, next on my next video, I'll make sure to end with a whole line of those exploding and from a distance so we can actually see them. But yeah, that's kind of cool. It took out the keypad too. It didn't even leave the keypad. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was fun. All right. Well, uh, yeah. The, uh, oh, one last thing I wanted to see here. See, this is what happens when you turn the power off while the stuff's all going. Makes traffic jams. Any other traffic jams? Yep. I've just been having this go the whole time. It's kind of nice, like. Uh, now that everything's auto repairing, except for these up here. That's another thing I want to check. I've had these running for a while. I think he changed how often you have to um, you have to repair the Goliath drills because I haven't repaired them once yet. They haven't even started to spark. Oh, speaking of starting to spark, see now it's back at 82. So once it got to zero, it auto repaired. Pretty nice, huh? Oh, oh can't walk that way. There we go. Okay, let's see how these um, harvesters are doing. Oh, yeah. So, he way slowed down how fast the, uh, the not harvester, the goliaths destroy themselves. Because these should have been, like, all the way done by now, I'm pretty sure. Okay, the last thing to check out now is the wrench. Let's see what the wrench here does. So, it says it adds legs. At first, I was thinking it meant, like, like, when you're in, in electrical, you can add legs as in, like, new wires, more wires. But, um, let's see. Oh, heh. <laughs> okay, it actually adds legs. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that does. I guess if you're like, have like a lot of wiring that's right next to each other, like maybe, nope. See, I was thinking maybe I could put legs across here so that I could like walk in between these or something, but uh, I guess if you're close enough to the ground, huh, it only seems to work on the logic, not on the, uh... see it work, oh yeah, see like that. So it only works on the logic, though. It doesn't seem to... Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it works on those. All right. So can I get those to look like they're attached to the ceiling, then? Will that work? Yeah, there we go. See, now they're hanging. Hanging out. Whoa! <laughs> Worked on that one. Doesn't work on the pipes. Doesn't work on the angled ones. Okay. Man, that one has all four directions. <laughs> I guess it depends on how they're oriented as to how it'll uh, how it'll give it legs. Anyway, that's that's a cool little thing. It can be uh, nice for aesthetic stuff sometimes, I guess. Um, yeah. 
Otherwise, I don't really know what I would do with that. So, um, so yeah, I made all these bags to repair stuff, and then it hasn't been, uh, hasn't been breaking down nearly as often as it used to, so that's nice. Only, like, 50%. And I think they used to break down at, like, uh, 27% before. Hopefully now they go all the way to zero with the new logic setups. But, um, eventually I might do the, that repair thing with all of these, so each one will have its own, uh, magnifying glass and, uh, repair bag, and that way I can pretty much just like go to sleep and let everything run. <laughs> I don't know why I would do that though when I already have my uh, my infinite money necklace here. Or maybe it's a negative money necklace since I can't even sell it since it's worth so much. Broke the game. Anyway, um, put this back downstairs. I think I'm going to grind all this stuff up. I don't need all this logic stuff. I just got it for you guys. So I'm going to grind all my extras here. I'm going to grind all my... There we go. I'm going to grind up all my extras here. Get this place looking nice and clean down here again. Or cleaner anyway. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. If that, if that was helpful at all, uh, give me a like. Comment, subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Love ya.